the Washington, D.C. military is on red alert due to potential protests. What are we supposed to be protesting? That's something we should probably be asking ourselves right about now. We're getting reports of farmland being idled across the United States. Updates on empty shelves and food shortages from you guys uh, from all over. And we asked about canned peas and you all responded. Uh, we have Australia, we have UK, we have all across the United States. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And these are your updates, your reports that you guys are sending in from all over the place. If you have something that you need to share with the group, uh, please do comment on any one of the videos on this channel. Make sure you use the word update somewhere in there. And uh, if you need to email me uh, to keep your name off things or because you don't have a Google account or whatever, you can do that at poplarpreparedness at gmail.com. Um, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, they help people who have retirement accounts get out of uh, stocks and bonds, get out of uh, other risky investments over into gold, silver, and platinum. If you have some questions or you'd like to find out more about that, what that look like in your retirement account, um, there will be a link at the end of the video. Tanya uh, points out that the UK Prime Minister uh, Sunak has called for snap elections. Uh, this is going to be on July 4th, uh, even though their party is uh, behind in the polls. Uh, so what's going on with that? Uh, that? Those are some good questions out there, uh, but a major election happening uh, very, very soon in the UK. Will the, the parliament change hands? Uh, will conservatives pick up more seats? Uh, will there be more and more pushback against a lot of the insane uh, pro-immigration policies that we've seen out there? Uh, possibly, uh, but that remains to be seen. Uh, Paula says, uh, Samsung just pushed out a new update. Uh, when you go to restart your phone, there are now four I new icons. One of them is for your medical in info. Isn't that great to have that right on your phone? Have, have your uh, medical info right on your phone, just like the iPhone, so that you can have your, your card that talks about all the things that you've taken so that they can decide whether or not to let you into their store. Yes, friends, they want you to pay with your cell phone. They want you to identify yourself with your cell phone. Um, you're not you unless you get a text to your cell phone number and then you enter your little code that you got from your cell phone into these sites. That's how they know that you're not a robot and that's how they know that you're actually a real person. So, um, <laughs> yes, without your cell phone, you're not actually a real person anymore, according to a lot of businesses, a lot of governments. Uh, Sandy, this is interesting. Uh, went to a friend's funeral yesterday. Sorry for your loss. Was told by a close relative, her grandson, who is in the military, was unable to get permission to leave Washington, D.C. to attend his grandmother's funeral. Said they are, are on red alert until further notice. They are expecting protests slash uprisings leading up to the Democratic National uh, Convention in August. Protests and uprisings, that's what they're prepared for. I don't know, friends. When, uh, when somebody is like, uh, you know, cringing, like, don't hit me, you, you, you want to naturally ask that question, why would you think that I was about to hit you? What have you done? <laughs> that you think that I would have reason to hit you, right? That's just, that's just natural. And so when we see the, uh, the military being put on high alert in Washington, D.C., uh, because of chaos to come, you have to ask yourself the question, what's going on? Now, with the Democratic National Committee uh, convention happening in August, uh, <laughs> well, friends, things might be just a little bit crazy. There's talk that um, the old guy might be on his way out, and that's why they want to have their, uh, the debate uh, with Trump before that. I think they're trying to do that so that uh, they might have cause to remove him. That's interesting. And then on top of that, you have uh, the fact that all these uh, pro-Hamas uh, protesters and everything like that would like nothing more than to stop this convention from happening. 
a lot happening, friends. Uh, Ty says, um, Savannah, Georgia. I drive tr uh, drove trucks for 20 years. I had a CPAP for the last 10 years. I had to have my data downloaded to take it to the annual DOT physical. You basically have to wear it at a minimum for four hours a night, or else you can't have your you can't have your um, your truck license. You basically had to wear it, uh, and uh, I got a new machine because the Philips recall recently. It now sends information directly to your doctor wirelessly. If I was bugging out with it, I would yank the data port out of it. You might need to do that, friends. Might need to do that. Everything's tracking us these days. It's insane. Uh, Jen says, I'm in the pinky part of Michigan. Uh, I was uh, going to buy some uh, Van Camp's uh, pork and beans, and I remembered you saying things are getting watered down. I shook the can, and it didn't sound right. I bought one, it was watery, and the calorie count went from 120 to 130 uh, calories per serving. Uh, amount of servings stayed the same. Thanks for your updates. So just, just seeing that you can see two cans right next to each other with different calorie counts per serving tells you that um, just the fact that uh, the number one ingredient being water has been increased a little bit maybe. Uh, and you might be getting less of whatever product you're trying to buy. We're seeing a lot of that going on out there. They're raising the prices, but they're also just giving you less of what you're looking for in those cans. So keep watching and keep aware of what's happening. Uh, Bonnie says, uh, Southeast Pennsylvania Walmart. Empty spaces where the dry beans are. Two varieties that are not um, Goya brand. So no, only two varieties of uh, uh, non-Goya brand. Higher prices, fewer bags. Pasta very low, especially the GV brand. Coffee was very low in stock. Went to get a new uh, halter for my dog. Very few in stock. His size still out of stock. Why is that? Why can't they get these things into the stores, right? Um, the orders to China are down dramatically and yet uh, the stuff isn't on the shelves. Uh, very few in stock um, for the halter. Um, hasn't been restocked in three weeks and I've been checking. Went to BJ's Club. Uh, yesterday on a Friday early afternoon, milk was low. Two creamers of the brand I like on shelf. Lots of uh, summer stuff on sale like patio equipment, grills, but no one's buying it because they can't afford it, right? Um, all prices on regular foodstuffs have increased by dollars. Coffee choice, choices are de decreased. Some over-the-counter medicines have been, are completely bare shelves. I bought the five things I really needed and I left. This is from 40. Uh, Southwest Ohio went to Dairy Queen. They had a foot-long meal deal. I'm, I'm assuming that's a uh, hot dog. That includes a foot-long, chips, and a drink. Three years ago, it was $5. Today, it was $8.80. Not quite 100%, uh, but uh, increased. That was a real eye-opener, from 5 bucks to $8.80. Uh, KK4 says, uh, Aldi in Lawton, Oklahoma, produce... Uh, Produce is spotty, mostly poor. Few salad tomatoes, uh, no full-size tomatoes. Once again, Oklahoma. Dairy was half empty, and the freezer was worse than that. Only a few bags of French fries available, none of them unseasoned. We left the store with about a third of what we went in for. Oils uh, were pretty good. However, several varieties, only several varieties available. Uh, but the total area given to oils on the shelf is smaller than in the past. Uh, Karim says, uh, I went to get a head of lettuce at Aldi's on Monday in Cleveland, Tennessee. Of the half dozen or so heads they had, they were all small. One was uh, so small it was the size of a softball. A buck 98 for them. When they used to be about 99 cents this time of year, and most of these uh, would have never made it to the market because of their size. So from 99 cents up to a buck 98, you know, 
3% inflation. This is why we need common core math on all of schools so that people can't do math, so that the lies can continue. Shrinkflation gets, uh, gets any worse and we'll be buying lettuce priced per leaf. Uh, I, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, Ward says, uh, Steve, my wife and I traveled from the Mississippi Gulf Coast to Arkansas for our granddaughter's high school uh, graduation. What caught our eyes uh, were the number of farmland acres that are idled. We saw not hundred, but rather thousands of acres being left to nature. Uh, in the past, when we made the trip, the fields were always uh, teeming with freshly planted crops, but not this year. It really didn't matter which uh, state we traveled in. The number of idled fields was uh, on average one in three. So sad to see was becoming of our country. That's what happens when you have the Chinese and billionaires buying up all this farmland, right? Uh, Dimbula says, um, Australia, fast food shrinkflation. KFC is bringing back the original chicken burger, but instead of the chicken breast uh, fillet uh, being cut into two, so two chicken breasts, uh, so you get half of a, a breast fillet, they are now cutting three pieces from each, each fillet, then double dipping that in the flaky coating, so the fillet is half coating and only half chicken, and promoting it as the original super crunchy coating. I guess the expensive coating is now cheaper than the chicken. Yes, friends, that's where we're going. Everything's moving that direction, isn't it? Now, we did ask you guys, uh, one of the viewers asked about what you guys are seeing with canned peas, so we toss that out to everybody. Um, Kathy says, um, I have noticed cans of peas missing where I live in Southern Illinois. Pretty much most, uh, other people said that they were not seeing an issue in their area with canned peas. So it looks like it's, uh, just a few localities out there that are having issues with canned peas. Uh, but the rest of people seem to, uh, be able to find them, uh, pretty easily. This is, this is useful information, right? But in addition to that, this is us practicing sharing information with each other. In November, we may need to share information with each other. Um, when things go sideways with uh, more peaceful protests and such like that out there, we may need to share information that's not being passed through the regular media. And us practicing with our network is important. Now, right now, it's easier just to use the comments on the YouTube channel, but I really need you guys to stay connected via email as well. Um, a lot of you guys have sent in emails over time, but are you subscribed to our newsletter? Because if this channel gets shut down on YouTube and we're trying to still gather information, email is going to be the easiest way to do that. So I have a request for you guys. In the pinned comment down below is the link to sign up for the newsletter. Um, if you haven't uh, signed up for the newsletter, please do click on that link, sign up for the newsletter. It's free, I don't hassle you. Um, I usually send it out once a week. I haven't sent it out in the last couple weeks. Um, but uh, we just let you know what's kind of going on here uh, and just uh, some of the commentary about what's going on in the world uh, with the newsletter. But it's, it's really about having that list of people uh, and email addresses so that we can uh, if we get shut down, let you know where we end up, whether we uh, move over to Rumble or over to Twitter, or whether we have to move to a whole different platform entirely um, so that we can continue getting your updates and continuing to get them out to you, whether this turns into just a newsletter um, or what. I don't know what the future is. I'll, I'll keep trying to talk as much as I can uh, for as long as I can, but with the way things are going, we don't know how much longer that will be. So make sure you've signed up for the newsletter. If you haven't got any newsletters recently, uh, just sign up again. Um, it doesn't doesn't send you two. It just uh, it will just uh, make sure that you're on the list. Some of you guys have been accidentally unsubscribed or something like that too. Just sign up again, and it'll put you right back on that list. All right, friends. Thanks so much for joining with us. Uh, that is in the pinned comment down below. If you want to find out more about what you can do with uh, Genesis Gold, there's a link right here on the screen. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.